Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So towards the end of last month, back in May, Microsoft rolled out our latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, which was a non-security update, KB5037849, and I posted on this update, and I'll leave that video in the end screen. Now, as I mentioned previously, when this update originally rolled out, it had no new features. It was merely a bug fix update. And a couple of days after the update rolled out, Microsoft actually updated the release notes to mention that the update adds a new snipping tool feature. And the feature is available when you link your Android mobile device to your PC. And it adds a new mobile devices in these settings. Now, I've actually been waiting for this feature to roll out for a good couple of days and it's not available in my region because Microsoft says this feature might not be available to all users because it will roll out gradually. And uh, um, just decided to post this video because I have noticed from the comments that a lot of you have actually received the feature, but some haven't, including myself, and obviously it's a, on a controlled rollout. So what will happen is if you have received the feature, the phone in your settings will be changed to mobile devices. And basically it's a new snipping tool feature as mentioned. And how this will all work is that after installing the update, you would head to your mobile devices page and then you would select allow your PC to access your mobile devices and select manage devices and then and because I haven't received the feature just to use one or two screenshots provided by the good folks over at Windows latest and then you will once you've clicked on that you will see this um, you'll get a cross device experience host update uh, from the Microsoft Store and you need to download and install this to make to actually make and get the feature to work. So if you don't download the cross device experience host, this feature will not work. And as mentioned, um, this is actually a Windows 11 feature, but now available on Windows 10 for some users. Now, once you've downloaded and installed the cross device experience host, yeah, as mentioned, you click on manage devices. And there we go. You can add a device, you add your phone, and what happens is you can get new photo notifications and you receive new notifications to open or edit photos from this device. So basically it's a snipping tool feature. And the only catch with this is you have to be signed in with a Microsoft account to get this feature to work as well. So you need the cross device experience host and you need to be signed in with a Microsoft account. And once you've connected your Android phone, um, basically after that you will get new photo notifications um, on Windows 10. And what it does is this, this integration makes photos on your phone accessible on your PC. So whenever you capture a screenshot, you'll get a notification about that actual screenshot as an example. And the photos will appear as notifications on your Windows 10 PC. And then you can open them in the snipping tool to save or edit them. So basically, that's just a feature in a nutshell. Because as mentioned, I haven't received this feature yet. And just wanted to put it out there to keep you guys posted and in the loop in case you have received it and you were unaware or... Um, just for interest sakes, if you would be interested in this feature. And uh, um, as mentioned, this is a Windows 11 feature now that has made its way into Windows 10 using a controlled rollout. And once again, Microsoft is bringing um, Windows 11 features into Windows 10. And although Windows 10 is nearing the end of support date next year in October, this does indicate once again, as I've said on the channel, that I don't think Microsoft is done yet with Windows 10. Um, I don't see why they would be pushing all these Windows 11 features into Windows 10 if they were going to end support um, towards the end of next year in October. Um, as I've posted previously, they are going to give you three years extra support, but at a price you'll have to pay for extended security updates. But I still personally don't think they are going to end and cut off the support for the general public on the 14th of October 2025 and this is just another indication um, regarding that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.